what's on your mind. And the, you can ask anything. The only thing I won't tell you is what we're buying or selling or about. So, you know, I, I don't even tell myself that. I mean, I, I write it down and then I, it's like the Coca-Cola formula, you know. There's only <laughs> two people can get into the trust department and find out what they are and I don't know who the two are. So, uh, it's, uh, we don't talk about what we're buying or selling, but anything else is fair game. Personal, business, anything you'd like to talk about. And actually, the tougher the questions are, the more interesting it is for me. So, don't, don't spare my feelings. I mean, just throw it my head. And, uh, and with that, let's, uh, I guess we've got a microphone. Is this the only microphone or is there one on this? This is the only microphone okay. right here. To ask a question, you'll need to come down to this microphone. Just stand in line and, and I'll be Regis Feldman and you can. <laughs> yes. I have an old fashioned belief that I can only should expect to make money in things that I understand. And when I say understand, I don't mean understand, you know, what the product does or anything like that. I mean, understand what the economics of the business are likely to look at, look like 10 years from now or 20 years from now. I know, in general, what the economics of, say, Wrigley chewing gum will look like 10 years from now. The internet isn't going to change the way people chew gum. It isn't going to change which gum they chew. You know, if you own the chewing gum market in a big way, and you've got double mint and spearmint and juicy fruit, those brands will be there 10 years from now. So I can't pinpoint exactly what the numbers are going to look like on Wrigley, but I'm not going to be way off if I try to look forward on something like that. That evaluating that company is within what I call my circle of competence. I understand what they do. I understand the economics of it. I understand the competitive aspects of the business. There can be all kinds of companies that have wonderful futures, but I don't know which ones they are. I mean, 